All right, guys, so a bunch of news I got to push out to you guys today regarding a couple of sneakers and a huge restock from Nike. We're about to get right into it. If you guys are new, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell for your boys so you never miss any more of these super informative videos. Try to help you guys as much as I can as far as restocks, shock drops, what's going around the sneaker community. So please do me a favor and subscribe and hit the notification bell right now. The likes go a long, long way, so please smack that like button. We're about to jump right into today's video, talking about some restocks and talking about these Air Jordan 6 car mods, man. Let's get it. All right, guys, so for these Air Jordan 6 car mods, if you guys do not know, I already did a full review and on feed over these beautiful Air Jordan 6 car mods, but most of the pairs, that's what I'm thinking, that's what I'm hearing, that's what's rumored around the community. Most of them have huge quality control issues, and I don't know if you guys have been sleeping on the rock, but I've been posting on my Instagram story, and I've been just checking out a couple of videos on YouTube, seeing that a bunch of these car mods had the red from the upper bleeding onto the midsole of these joints. And my pair, like looking at all first rip, people hit me up on Instagram like, yo, is your pair good? And all that good stuff. My pair is pretty straight. I don't see any red, uh, not even a little bit of red bleed onto my midsole. But as you guys know, quality control issues does happen with Jordan brand. For instance, the Air Jordan 13 Mellows. And I can just think of a bunch of other sneakers that had huge quality control issues. And that went straight to the Nike Outlet, man. And the most recent Air Jordan that I've seen in the Nike Outlet was the Air Jordan 11 cap and gowns. That shoe released back in 2018 or 2017, I'm not too sure. I forget, but they recently popped up in the Nike Outlets and there was some B-grade Air Jordan 11 cap and gowns. So it happens. Jordan brand is not perfect. They make huge mistakes on sneakers. And this one right here is pretty big because Everybody's anticipating this release. Everybody's wanting for a shock drop, exclusive access drop or something like that. We haven't gotten it. A lot of people ask me like, yo, how'd you get your pair? Of course, I bought it early. You guys already know that back door is always open. Much as I hate to say it for certain sneakers, but these right here are gonna be massive, massive GRs. So when you're making a bunch of sneakers and stuff like that, you're gonna have issues with the quality control. And there's even rumors going around saying that this sneaker right here will get pushed back all the way until May. And that really, really sucks for everybody that really been anticipating the sneaker, including myself. Your boy want another pair, but I ain't trying to pay that extra for an early pair of Air Jordan 6 car mods. Your boy want to get them for retail. And I don't know if you guys remember on the live stream, we were even talking about it. Uh, my local PX, they didn't have the car mod 6s on the list. Maybe that's because Jordan Brand is stopping the sending of these car mod 6s to all the spots that's getting them because of that huge issue with the red bleeding onto the midsole. So I'm gonna give you guys some more updates further along the way. Let you guys know what's going on. Cause as of right now, everybody wants these Carmine sixes, but Nike and Jordan Brand is playing games with the quality control issues and not even putting the official images up on the Nike sneakers app, which really raises a lot of questions and concerns. So like I said, stay tuned for more updates. Your boy might go live again later when we get some information about what they're gonna do with these Air Jordan 6 car mods. All right guys, and for the huge Nike restock that we're gonna be talking about today, it's called the Last Shot Event. Put some pictures up over here, over here. It's pretty much goes through a bunch of different sneakers. And on this Nike Last Shot Event, it says starting February 5th. I'm posting a video early Early tomorrow morning I'm shooting this the night before and I was gonna go live tomorrow but your boys gonna be super super busy but I want to help as many people as I can and I'm gonna drop this video for everybody so please share this with a friend with a friend let them know about this last shot event so pretty much it says your last shot at hundreds of shoes you never knew you wanted to score so bad on February 5th the Nike app will give you one last shot at the final few pairs of an unreal assortment of footwear uh, everything from Jordans to Air Max to Pegs and more, but act fast if you want to win because once your pair gets copped, you might have missed your shot at them. So this is the last shot event. I'm not sure what's going to be on there. It says some Jordans and even looking at the video, if you guys are looking at your Nike app, it's on the Nike app, not on the Nike sneakers app. Please do not get confused by that. You have to be a Nike member, of course. Download the Nike app and you'll see the last shot event on the home page click on it and you'll see a bunch of sneakers like scrolling on the side i see a pair of graffiti lebrons i see a pair of air jordan one mids i see a pair of jordan one lows and who knows man we always want to hope for the best but you always got to expect the worst you feel me that just makes things 10 times better that's how i look at life so we're going to see what happened we're going to see what nike brings back for us on tomorrow and this is a two-day 
event and it ends on february the 6th at 11 p.m eastern standard time they could be dropping a bunch of stuff who knows i remember last year when they did the whole three-day event we had to be on there every day at like 10 o'clock when they was dropping some dunks they had dropped a bunch of air maxes and i think they even dropped a pair of air Jordan one mids at one time but there was the first ones to sell out so you guys gotta stay tuned you guys gotta stay updated with the nike app because sometimes they have events they have certain restocks on the nike app that you won't even really see nobody really talks about it so i'm trying to help you guys out for these huge nike restocks that we're about to see and if nike and jordan brand really want to do as well they're gonna throw some jordan ones in there that we missed out on last year so like i said download the nike app this is going to be strictly on the nike app not the nike sneakers please don't get confused by that starting tomorrow it didn't say a start time but it did say an end time for february 6th at 11 p.m eastern standard time and you can go into the app right now and turn on your push notifications so once something that does happen you guys get notified another app i usually get notified about restocks and stuff like that is j23 app follow them on instagram follow them on twitter and make sure you download the app right now i believe the app is two dollars 99 cents for a lifetime fee and then i also have soul links i follow them on instagram i follow them on twitter and i have their app on my phone so whenever we get some crazy restocks whenever something happens as far as the shock drop with nike or jordan even sometimes with yeezy on the soul link side of things your boy gets notified and i'm pretty much first in the shoot to try to cop something for retail so you guys let me know if you got any more information about this last shot event even if you got some information about these Air Jordan 6 Carmines, please drop some comments down below in the comment section because I'm very interested in seeing what's going to happen with these Carmine 6s. One of the most anticipated releases of 2021 and we ain't even got official images yet and it's supposed to release February 13th. I appreciate everybody for tuning in today's video. Make sure you guys please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss any other content that your boy drops. Try to give you guys as much information as I can, give you guys some early looks, do some dope on feats, and even do some clothing hauls here and there. So stay tuned for all that by hitting the notification bell. Follow me over on Instagram at Adventist World because as soon as I see information over there, I'll post it right onto my story. And please leave a huge like on today's video. That goes a long way. It helps the channel grow. And your boy trying to hit that 50K ASAP, man. Make sure you guys come back tomorrow. Let me know what you were able to cop with this last shot event that Nike is holding on the Nike app. And with all that being said, I'm going to catch you guys in the next video, man. Peace.